Well, I didn't think I'd be doing this, but someone from the previous video wanted to see it, and since you're watching, you're probably interested as well. So, without further ado, first, we'll need some images, some slides, and well, you can use any image editor you like. The resolution must always be 640 by 480, however, and you cannot use alpha, even though there's no way to disable that in Creator, for example, Mm, it will just be removed when converting it because open computer does not understand that rather it mm, changes the it bases the transparency depending on the color so for example white is fully opaque black is fully transparent and colors in between that are differently transparent depending on how close they are to white or black so yeah there's no way to disable this it's just how, at least in this current version, that's just how open computers works, but uh, this only applies to the projector and not the monitor. So you, if you want the background to be transparent, you can just set the background to black, but uh, keep it white. Because I'm gonna be doing, for the first slide, some drawing. Incredible art skills, I know. And now um, you can save it as any format you like, but JPEG, like JPEG compression, does not work here because it will just become lossless again. So, okay. So. It, it, you should just save it as PNG. Right, and you're gonna wanna do like put some zeros because otherwise, if you just make them like this, then the moment you start at 10, things are gonna get out of order because it goes in alphabetical order. And you, don't, you can make it whatever you like. It doesn't have to be slight. Boom. Uh, do not store alpha channel, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we're gonna make another one because this is just an image. If you wanna make a slideshow, a presentation, I mean, then you're gonna wanna open up, say, LibreOffice or PowerPoint. And then we're just gonna slide show from current slide, get the mouse out of the way, and boom, print screen, and now paste this in here, uh, paste, hold on, and you now want to resize it, because it's probably gonna be too big. Okay. And you could, as you can see, the something got to be aware of is that open computer is four by three, while most computer 16 by 9 so you have to resize it now here if you make it transparent the background then you're not gonna, really going to notice it but for slides I think usually boom expanding it like this is fine but just to make sure we don't end up with anything right okay and there and now we're going to save us Slide zero zero two. Okay, and that's about it. You can add as many as you like, though. Keep in mind, you're gonna run out of space pretty quickly. So, boom, exit, exit, and now 
because they need to be converted to RGB565 and compressed because without compression things are gonna be yeah um, like uh, you just not uh, every image in RGB565 row is 600 kilobytes and you have 8 megabytes, maybe 16, depending on the drive you use in open computers. So, yeah, that's why we have compression. And if you run Windows, that's why we're the script, even though you can do it by piping BMD to RGB565 into GZIP, but most Windows users probably don't know how to do that, so I just wrote the script. And Windows, you can just drag your images on top of the script, and most Linux. Well, many just you can't, unfortunately. So, mm, just yeah, that is interesting. Five zero zero one, five zero zero two, and now you notice you have these dot 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 gzip files, which it correctly identifies as archives. And now, because you can only import single files at a time into open computers, you're gonna wanna zip them up, you can also tie them up if you like, but once again for the Windows users I'm going to demonstrate zipping up. So I hope you know how to create zip archives. Um, nope. Um, I'm just going to that, that, that zip. I'll do it to the command line. Here is a t.zip with the slides inside. And now, boom. So, what we're going to do is, because I already have my old slides here, I don't want to mix them up, so I'll go make the tutorial. And I'm going to import .lua. And I'm going to have to find it. I'm already in the right folder, but you probably haven't going to be. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. The PNG is useless here. T.zip. And this can take a long while with... Um, you have a lot of slides, especially if they're big. So, here we have our slides using one size and two. Now, first of all, we have this prompt here. And this is going to be an issue. So, we want to remove it. So, so rain. I don't really mind rain, but it's going to ruin the bit rate. Um, so we're going to do nano, or you can use them as well, etc, init tab. Scroll down here to tty1, and we're going to put a hashtag here, like this, then control x, y, enter. And now we need to reboot. And yeah, this takes quite a while which is weird because like the first time it works fast and then here you see in a second you suddenly end up um, on the random seat Yeah, this saving random seed takes an especially long amount of time for some reason. But we just wait it out. Okay, this is really slow. Maybe just because I'm recording and I'm... Um, like... Worried about... You know, I'm nervous. So, okay, we log in. And you might notice that there's no login prompt here. It just text so now we need to remove the blinking cursor because that's gonna ruin the slideshow with this magic thing given I can't remember just um just copy this this is an L not a one 25L boom here we go no more blinking cursor and now remember to CD into a new into a folder we made and for this thing Mm. This just goes to all the G zips, but if you can also do, for example, only the one starting with light, 
whatever, I'm just gonna leave it at home. Um, I'm gonna give you a few seconds to pop it out if we should really pause the video, but just in case, boom. And yeah, that just shows which slide is at the moment. And yeah, last time I did with the projector, this time I'm doing it with a monitor. Remember that you need to hook them up like this. It doesn't matter if they're touching uh, for variety. And here we have a first slide. With the black outlines, is it? I don't know. And now um, I need to press any key and boom, here was second slide. Press any key again, it doesn't clear the screen. If you wanted to clear the screen, you can add an at reset and the zero at the end. This way, oh, maybe it won't work. Oh, I am stupid. Um, you need to cut there zero into there every zero. Let's try it again. Boom, boom. It's up to you whether you want to clear the screen at the end. And now, uh, yeah, that door, this is normal. And that's about it. So, until next time.